and now let's talk a little bit about uh, large print software. Uh, if you focus on the, the desktop here again, you see this letter M, <coughs> it's the icon for Magic, a large print software program. Made by Magic? M made by Freedom Scientific. Oh, there you go. And big name and accessible software and devices, right? Right. They also make uh, they make this program here, JAWS as well, which which is short for Job Access with Speech. Now I've got a 40-minute demo copy here, and these are these are free to download. You can run this thing for 40 minutes for free. So as you can see, their menus are already naturally large as it is. Um, okay. So magic is just one solution. I'm not here to, to try to push magic per se. There are other options available like Zoom Text is another one made by AI Squared. Mm -hmm. um, those those are really the two major ones, uh, Zoom Text and Magic. With Magic you have a number of different options. And let's open up the web browser again to show you. So the one thing I'm going to do here is Obviously, we can increase or decrease the size. We've got the up arrow and down arrow here with mm -hmm. the with the magic uh, interface here. And let's take a look at the, the website now. One of the challenges with this versus a control spin wheel is there's there needs to be a lot of movement left, right, up, and down with the mouse. Whereas with the spin wheel, it does the auto wrap feature. Uh, very often, it it tends to keep things within the viewable area mm -hmm. a little better. So this won't unwrap text. So when you no. expand the size of the content, if you will, right, then you just got to shift the screen left and right and up and down to see complete lines of text or right. other images, etc. Whereas when you do the control spin wheel, mm -hmm. then the text will actually wrap around the next line often anyway, it's not always. Yes, within within certain web browsers it will, mm -hmm. um, to a limited degree, yeah. Um, so another really important piece here with Magic, and it has a lot of bells and whistles, but I think one of the most important pieces is inverting the colors. So now we've got, what I'm going to do is reduce the size slightly so we can see this a little better. That's 6x now, mm -hmm. bring it down to 2x. So now what we have is a black <laughs> background with white white print, and for people with glare sensitivity, this is often a really good solution for them. Um, the nice thing about Magic is you double click on it. The the icons that you've seen me click on are fairly intuitive. For example, here you've got the up arrow, which can indicate uh, increase the size up. Down arrow, decrease the size down. And then you got this sort of rainbow effect button here, which inverts the colors. As you can see, there's a lot of other bells and whistles that we don't have time to get into. But are those... Th are there, I'm sorry, are there only two inversions, the white on the black and then the standard? You can, you can get into some um, okay, color enhancements. Here we go. Okay, now we can, we can alter the, um, oh, the shading. It, gets, it can get really complicated really quickly. What I find typically um, is people who are glare sensitivity, glare sensitive to this, um, it's sort of like an all or nothing kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Once they get in here and start playing with the shading, considering that there's enough variables already on the internet with mm -hmm. different pages and colors and graphics, I find people don't tend to to do a lot of of changing themselves or customizing, they tend to do either black on white or white on black. 